Hey everybody, uh, we just got done watching, well I just got done watching it, he already watched it, the Xbox Game Showcase for 2020. Um, we have some thoughts. We, 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 we has a think. We has a think. Um, it, so yeah, thanks for checking this out. Go down yeah. and uh, uh, subscribe, ring the notification bell, uh, like the video, that really helps us out. And don't forget to comment down below with what you guys thought uh, about the Game Showcase uh without any further ado let's get into the conversation make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you ring that notification bell and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive youtube algorithm what the hell was that <laughs> the, 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 uh, uh, sa sadly all i expect from these game companies these days like it's an hour long of pre-rendered nonsense that you just they just throw out there and just expect you to clap along and the problem is, is this is what e e3 turned into like the last like four or five years, maybe longer. Man, I want E three or this stuff to go back to when Microsoft pulled strippers on stage. Technically that was an after party. <laughs> <laughs> and also people got fired over that. You, you, you gotta wonder about that though. Like who the who thought this was a good idea? Do like, do you know what that was? That was one of them old school like eighties parties that were like, let's do strippers and they were like, Yeah, <laughs> Actually, I could see that. I absolutely could see that. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, old eighties, re re you know, record company oh, party. Geez. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me the straw. <laughs> Straws. We're at a hundreds. We used them all already. <laughs> All right, so Tower Records, everybody. Uh, anyway, <laughs> man, what the hell was this? It was all right. So I, I, I took a few notes. So apologize about being on the phone, guys, but I, I took some notes here. He actually uh, took notes. And I let's let's just kind of wow. go down from the the. Wow! Shut up! I'm the only one that takes notes on this channel. I take mental notes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right. So um, what were we talking about? Well. <laughs> Yeah, That's a very paused. good question, actually. actually All right, so Halo Infinite. <laughs> oh my God, Halo Infinite. Um, um it doesn't, man, man. Maybe it's because I ducked out of Halo a long time ago. No, here, here's but my. But it does not feel like Halo. It doesn't look like. I don't know what is wrong with those graphics, man. It's, it's. They it, bother me, and I just. It's I, not that it looks mm, bad per se. It, it just. Looks it look it looks vaguely cel shaded, almost like they tried to go for almost a Fortnite esque aesthetic, and that just does not work. Oh. Obviously, not as cartoony as Fortnite, but just the way the colors work and all that, it just the, it had that almost cel shaded feel to it to me. The the and that just doesn't jive uh, with the whole Halo uh, thing. No, Halo for me is the graphics. Of, oh, I'll, I'll even give it to Four. Four had stunning. Gra I mean, you know, Master Chief. Four had stunning looking oh, graphics. Yeah. yeah, no, I got that. Yeah, I got the other one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one he don't he don't got a hand. That's um, why we had to get the other one. And I don't know where his needler went. It probably died when he fell one of these days. Um, but anyway, no. I, but it just man, it just Halo. Um, the 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 sound was weird. The the yeah, everything was like hyper compressed, and it was it just didn't have that pop. Like I mean, as much as I you know hate giving you know props to um, EA or Activision, but you've heard the um, sorry, you always like. Because we always hang the, the headphones on this one, and so it always points up in between episodes. Oh, my, that, my apologies. No, my no, apologies. that's why I, I do it too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but anyway, so um, also I'm constantly shifting because, you know, sometimes... Yeah, you start here, and then you go here, and then you'll, like, end up over here. I don't know. Anyway, go on. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. So Halo. I but mean, no, and it's, and it's, you know, as much as I hate to give props to, like, EA, Activision, all that is... um. Their sound design on their weapons is always, like, really crisp and really good. Like, if you listen to a Battlefield game yep. or this latest uh, Modern Warfare out of uh, Call Actually, of Duty, their weapon sounds are intensely fantastic. Intensely loud, but yes. Ooh, good. Well, you've been around firearms. You know that they're uh, loud. Well, no, no, but but I mean in a video game. It's just uh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. But no, and, but no, they're uncompressed. They're, um, they're, they're compressed in a way that makes them have very high cut through, but not in that really muted sort of Well, static. you still get kind of that, but man, dude, I don't, the, the sound was weird in Halo. The, the, it, yeah, man, I don't know. Halo, I don't know, man. And it didn't make me excited. It wasn't really this. Yeah, for their kind of big reveal that's meant to like sell you not only on the game but on the console. It just didn't have that wow factor. Like I remember when Halo 3 first got teased, right? Oh dude, I Because and I Halo 2 I was a little young for, but I do remember some of it. 
uh, was not Xbox. I, I remember I was Halo up. Three, Halo Two. I just got for Christmas, and I was like, what? "Yeah, I no, I was really young. I was really young for Halo Two. I was also a uh, Nintendo kid, so I didn't. I stumble over my words. It drives me nuts. Anywho, yeah, um, I do the same thing. But you know, the marketing for Halo Three was beautiful. The um, the live action one where he's got the bubble shield, or maybe that was pre rendered. And then you've got the the uh, believe trailer where they had all the little action figures and whatnot, and that's that fantastic score. And there was just legitimate hype for that game. And their E3 reveal, it, I remember their E3 reveal for Halo 3, and I mean, it was like the entire gaming industry shook from that. And this one, I just, it's, it's, it's not that I hate it, I'm just sitting there going, It eh. just, it, it felt eh. Eh. cartoonish what they showed us. It did. You know, you never had that, that slow pan to Master Chief just like, you know, and all of a sudden people are talking and they're freaking out and it's like a slow pan of master chief and all of a sudden he just says like that one line and they just go into it and then da 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 da, da. And, and just that epic big it felt small it felt small that's it what did. that's what it I, did and instead of going in with that wow factor that that halo 2 that halo 3 um that wow factor to it it felt very muted it did and um right. um well, because we we'll keep going on about Halo, so we let's yeah, move on. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so there are a few things that I had uh, uh, a problem with. I'll just kind of roll all these into kind of the same thing. Right. Um. I uh, it just goes to the marketing. Okay, so first of all, everything that we saw was all captured in engine. Well, that's, that's not on that's the Series a, X, so we don't actually know if the Series X can handle what we're shown. That is so common, and because you haven't been as uh, into the gaming industry over the last, you know, no, five, but ten tell years. me that's not no, 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 no. I know that's common. I know it's a common complaint. I've heard it in the past. Okay. My problem is, is that they kept talking about how the Series X, the Series X, the Series X, but yet we didn't ever see it. And we do know this is a common complaint of gamers. Show yeah. us on the uh, show us on the system itself. I yeah. still they do they should have done a Twitch thing. I think they, probably should, they t- probably should have. They to should be have totally done something honest. like, like, hey guys, you know, I'm the developer from here, and this is one of our master uh, 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 architects for the game. He's gonna sit down and show you this game. So let's get into it. And all of a sudden, it goes, and then you're, you know, when you're on the bottom corner of the screen here, Back, and, you know, and then you're playing, and that guy's like, all right, so this. Was I a really remember hard when level. E3 actually did some of that, like. Mm-hmm. They'd bring up level designers and artists and whatnot. And they'd sit there and they'd play it in front of people. On the stage and whatnot. See, and that's what I'm saying. I think they should have done it. One of my first uh, things I ever saw back with E3 when I started paying attention to E3 as a games thing would would have been like 07. And they were showing off things like Assassin's Creed. And you had... um, I I remember uh, that. Patrice Desolais and uh, Jade Raymond, I I believe. I remember that. And they were up there and they were showing the combat and talking about what they were going for. And these are the two like leads of the franchise. Yeah, I, I think they should have done that in this because it just yeah. fell. Okay, so so nothing that we saw was actually on the Series X. That's one thing that bothers me. The other thing uh, that that bothers me, man, is this thing felt like we. This is just a note that I took, dude. It felt like we were watching previews before the movie and never got to the well, movie. Well, it's because they were all roughly fifty to a minute and a half, fifty seconds to a minute and a half. Even that, some and of them were sh- some of short. Them were like- like, like thirty seconds, short, and uh, like but the fable just, one, like just, the fable one, like the uh, fable one is, like okay, outside of telling me it's fable. I mean, and fable. Here's the thing, guys, and this is going to be heresy, but Halo Infinite doesn't sell me on the Series X. Fable does. Well, that's because Bungie doesn't make Halo anymore. Well, yeah, well, yeah, but Lion's Head doesn't make Fable, fable anymore, anymore. So, but yeah, but we we have yet to see what Fable. But no, Fable. I'm a huge Fable guy. He knows. I'm oh I'm yeah, a fable yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no. so like. Um, I will say this: uh, a couple of the games that they showed off were, did look interesting. Um, sorry. Well, let's get to that in just a second. Oh, let's get okay. to that in a second. Sorry. I'm already no, because no, no, because no, because I want to end on the good notes. Fine. But I want to talk about the bad first, Fine. and then we'll end on the good. Because I isn't it supposed to be a compliment sandwich? Uh, I don't. No, no, I hate that crap. Uh, you actually had mentioned this. Um, okay, so let's go to the last two teams. The first thing uh, is you mentioned, the second thing I mentioned. Ah. You said all the cinematics look like they're from Blur Studios, and I said they did. that the Xbox Series X, black against a black background. Oh, just, just it, the it, way it just they looks, present it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, that, I, so, I, to be honest, I, I don't give a flying fladoodle about that. Uh, you know, fuck it. Yeah, I don't fuck give it. a flying fuck yeah, um, about the... Um, the way they choose to present it, I care about what it can do. 
And so that whole marketing thing where they put the black on black, I don't give a fuck. I just, I, I just don't. Well, and I, I mean, I, I like the visual aesthetics of stuff. And man, and I remember when the old school Xbox stuff, and it would light up, and it was the green, and and you saw it, and it was beautiful, and it was vibrant. And I mean, and and it, you were like, yeah, wow. but it's all marketing tat, so who cares? I don't know. I don't know. It bothers me primarily because I'm I am an Xbox fanboy and Sony is crushing it online right now, <laughs> and that pisses me off. They've been crushing it for the last decade. I know too. they yeah. have. I know. Well, seven years. Well, but, yeah. um, no, I know they have, and it pisses me off because I like the Xbox, but they're not giving me a lot to go on right now. See, I I was never a big Xbox guy. I liked Halo. I liked Gears. I liked thing Fable. That I, I like you for you know, um, all the things that were on Xbox that were exclusive or at least platform exclusive meaning they were on PC and Xbox but not PlayStation. Yeah. Um I enjoyed those properties. But the Xbox itself it's Microsoft. They're one of the biggest tech firms in America. I know. I I know. All right, f- all right. Now you said everything looked like it was done by the same. Yeah, for those of you who don't know Blur is a um they're they're like a CG company. They're like Pixar for games, right? And they do all these really really nice CG cutscenes and they are true CG. They're not in engine. They are yeah, it's CGI. Yeah, like ILM type yeah, 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 CGI, yeah. and um, but everything we saw on this, with the exception of a couple, just the way the shadows looked, the lighting looked, um, the diffusion on things like flashlights, it, all these are trademark blur like mm-hmm. sort of cues to me. And so one of two things: either in engine uh, cutscenes have caught up to a true CG firm, right, or two blur did them, or somebody very similar. And so it just for a it game did feel like we were watching a lot of the same game a few times. And obviously, if you hire the same firm to do all the cutscenes, gonna look somewhat similar. Yeah, they have their techniques, they have their style, and they're very good at what they do. Oh, I'm never, no, 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 I'm no, never no, gonna no. yell at Blur. No, no. And, but and what then, I can do is yell at Microsoft for hiring Blur to do all their reveal trailers, if that is the case. Yeah. Instead of actually showing us the reveals. Yeah. No. That. Was, yeah. That and was um, an issue uh, with me. Um. And so, yeah, but no, it's just the way that it looked. I could be dead wrong. It, it was just a vibe I got. And obviously, everything looked pre-rendered. There was very little gameplay. Actually, the only gameplay we got that wasn't, like, pseudo gameplay in her trailer was Infinite. And I still right, have my that, doubts that, that even that was real. Well, and they're going to try to make Halo open world. No, let's not go into Halo. We'll do a, We'll have to do an episode on that. Cause That's why I, I stopped where like, I did. You were going to pick I, up. I feel like the uh, the gravity Sorry. well of Halo is pulling us in. You know what I mean? No, I, uh, I, I was beyond the accretion disk. We're good. I, I was You're beyond. the one that was slipping. Um, okay, so there are some good things, though. And one of the things that I do want to talk about is there were a few of the developers out there. Ah, you could yes. see the pride that Get they back had to my points. and how excited they were. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... It, and, takes, and, it takes a ton of work for um, and I will these, say these guys to put together right. these games. And, no, it is nice to get, like, lead level designer. I'd even like to see some more, like, boots on the ground types yeah. come in and do this. But, um, no, to have the actual team come in and say, hey, guys, you know, this is what mm-hmm. we did. This is, uh, we hope you like it. We're, you know, pushing everything. We're trying to get it to this, you know, 4K 60 or even uh, yeah. 4K 120 in the case of a couple like Ori. Um that that's all fine. Again, I, I'm kind of a believe it when I see it type, and so I want to make sure that it is well. And, and one, it, it it is truly 4K, not you know an upscaled uh, what whatever half 4K 27 uh, 20, uh, 2.7K. Yeah, 2.7K. Um, because I think it's like 27 something yeah, or another. It's, it's um, but um, well, no, but anyway, but 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 let's let's go back to but some of these developers. I just but saw they how, are very invested in this yeah. because of that. Well, no, and I and I saw a, a couple of them. They were just. Especially because they were first-time developers. A lot of them are new, especially and, and, to and, Xbox, and, and, and if not so, just period. Yeah. yeah, and and so they were just like, we're so excited to have this here. And I and I was sitting there, and I was just like, okay, that's mundane, well, mundane, I mean, mundane. And then all of a sudden, this person is talking to me, and I just listened to their voice. And I was like, wait a minute. Well, they're very excited. You heard because, how loud I had it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I, but essentially, it's, you know, the, you know, you're know you some indie dev, and all of a sudden, Microsoft comes up and says, make something for the Xbox Series X for us. Yeah. And, exactly. we'll, and we're, we're going to give you the spotlight on our showcase. Yeah. Like, I mean, that kind of shoulder tap oh, is... a couple of them. They were just glowing. And I, and yeah. I loved that. I loved like, seeing that. Like, what an opportunity for them. I thought that was them. awesome. And uh, a couple standouts like that would be, like, grounded in some other stuff. That, yeah, yeah. 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 They were... Okay. Um, I think that Obsidian, uh, with this Avowed game... That, like I said, uh, uh, that caught my interest. That looks like... It looks like a cross between Lord of the Rings and Bioshock. 
Well, in other words, Skyrim. He didn't yeah. play Skyrim, but for the rest of you, it's Skyrim. It's um, Skyrim. But anyway, um, no, it's an Obsidian made Skyrim type game. Sign me up. Obsidian does good work. They I, do. I remember. Oh, they're uh, <laughs> Beth- Bethesda always nails like the open world aspect, but when it comes to writing and characters, God, they're bad, especially with glitches too. Yeah. Um. So anyway, to Obsidian, have an, to have an yeah. Obsidian uh, made Skyrim type game, I sign me yeah. up. Sign um, me up right now. Uh, I I like that the developers. This is something that this is a me thing, but the uh, 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 Ninja Theory for Hellblade, the new Hellblade coming out, is doing a, a behind the scenes on their YouTube. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I actually yeah. need to go to their YouTube channel because they did scouting in Iceland for this new Hellblade game, and I that's that's my jam. So if I go right here's yeah. the thing, I'll probably buy Hellblade. I have no interest in the game as of right now, but if I go and yeah, we, I look, if to, I we, go and watch the behind the scenes, we need to go through the first one. We and I see how that they do all the soon. scouting and so, yeah, well, actually that was recommended to us by a friend of ours, so we're probably going to do the first one. Well, I've heard good things about it. It's just one of those games I just haven't gotten to yet. Yeah, but the behind the scenes, the fact that the developer was like, hey guys, because that, as soon as he was like, hey guys, we did a lot of scouting for them, I was like, okay, cool, and he goes, and right after this, you can go check it out on our YouTube channel, and I was like, hello... Because they're actually showing you where they scouted See, I, and I remember, places. And- I remember when Ubisoft used to do that kind of thing with Assassin's Creed too. like back in the day of AC1, AC2. They would talk about going and scouting like Italy and Rome yeah. and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, they actually showed some little pre-cut footage too. Uh-huh. And I was like, and, okay, so and so, so I remember when game uh, companies used to give that much of an yeah. effort and, so, and to see that again is Ninja really Theory. Nice. If, if for some stupid reason anybody ever checks out the small little channel Ninja Theory, <laughs> good on that because as soon as we're done with this video, I'm actually going to go and watch some of your behind the scenes for Hellblade, and most likely that'll pique my interest enough to to want to see. Yeah, no, I, I firmly intend that we need to pick up uh, yeah, the first one, yeah. Senua's Sacrifice, because yeah, I've um, heard good things. Um, I think uh, Stalker 2 was one. Yeah, Stalker 2 was one that piqued my interest um, because I've dabbled in Stalker. I've not finished one because they are really hard and kind of buggy. Um, but, and I, I'm sorry, guys. It, they, it got overshadowed by the Metro series for me, which is kind of the spiritual successor. A lot of people who made Stalker worked on Metro. Okay. Oh, okay. And so that kind of it kind of got overshadowed by Metro for me, but I do fully intend to go through, especially with Stalker Two coming out. I I want to go back in and really give them a deep dive. Yeah. Um, so Stalker Two definitely because it's uh, a name I never actually thought would come up to see a Stalker Two. Oh, that's cool. And so uh, that was the thing. And then one we both agreed on uh, that looked really cool was Medium. That looks, and I literally in my notes here looks jaw droppingly good. Like and that. Um, I, this whole idea of the simultaneous, crap. this whole idea of the simultaneous worlds, and I wonder if they truly mean like like as they showed the um, two worlds, right? And you have the same character. She looks a little different in the uh, yeah the the ether yeah, well, world. Well, um, no, no. I heard she has herself in a purgatory world, and then and, in, and the, in the real world and the, our world. And uh, but I wonder if they truly are going to have them. They say simultaneous, and so that makes me think that they yeah they're going to have that two level. That's that's that really, would be really that's interesting really intuitive. Too. I think that's really cool. Like and, I said, that DMC reboot, the Devil May Cry reboot, sucked game horrible game. But they did something similar to that. And what I and I told you this is that in DMC interesting Interesting game shouldn't have been a DMC. Shouldn't have been. No, actually, I think the, you know, kind of like um, but, Last of Us um, Two. It's the narrative that drags it down. Yeah, but but what um, I, but uh, what I'm saying is that I think this game is going to take that that parallel worlds and things that look the same. And well, I mean, even bump Metro, it up to a new level. Even Metroid Prime Two did the whole parallel worlds thing, but to have it be simultaneous mm-hmm. and as a sucker for horror. Mm-hmm. This looks right up my alley, and I this I one actually, dude. It, I, we're gonna play it. It looks really good. Um, and then really the last thing that we 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 touched on a little bit, we haven't talked about. They did announce a new Fable game. It is not. Yeah, we Fable touched on that a little 4. earlier. Yeah, people keep calling it Fable Four, but it it's is not technically a reboot, I believe, or I, at least no, a soft reboot. It, no, well. I think it's going to be a soft reboot to the franchise because if I remember correctly, I read some stuff that says it's going to kind of pick up where like two left off. Um, so I think they're just going to kind of say three didn't happen. Here's here's the issue I have with. But three. I don't know. It's Fable. I'm going to buy it. I'm yeah. But I, here, here's uh, my issue with three. Right? Is that it's not that it was technically a bad game. It's the fact that again, marketing lied to us. And uh, that mm. that hacked a lot of people off. And then uh, two is that it was legit Fable 2.5. Like, a lot of the same assets, a lot of the same dialogue. No, and that's... And one of the things I that, mean, like, copy-pasted just, just from Fable 2. Just don't ruin my Fable, please. please. Well, 3 already did I that, know. so uh, we can only go well, up I from bailed here. Out. I, I did not like <laughs> 2. I, I did not. And, and, and honestly, and I look at 2, 2 technically great... The graphics were good. The gameplay was good. I hated that the, the the villain was super thin compared to Jack of Blades 
And See, I never... I, I, Jack of Blades was... He was always an interesting enough character, but he was such a typical Sauron esque sort well, of character that it just didn't grab me. And that And maybe way. that's why, because but I but again, I went through and I read all the, the dragon history. Thing was cool. I read all the history and stuff in the game. Oh, I, I was that, that guy. I oh no! That. Oh no! I read everything and found out the history of the dragons and kind of like why he wanted to bring them back and rise to power. Because See, this is why I need to do my lore versus story thing. Because yeah. I'd say the lore in Fable is better, but the story in Fable Two is at least equitable. Eh, no, it's not. Mm. No. You're wrong. So those are our thoughts. <laughs> oh, that was loud in the headphones. So those are our thoughts on the uh, Xbox game showcase. Yeah, that's actually what it is, the Xbox game showcase. Yeah, the, it's... Um, no, I, he, I said it's stilted uncertain. for a reason. I oh, said it's... Oh, yeah, that was intentional. Okay. Uh, I made it sound like you just No, it's a game um, showcase? Okay, see, that one I would have gotten. Because, I mean, but, um, teaser showcase for sure. Yeah, teaser, teaser te showcase. It teased a lot of games, but it didn't really showcase a lot of <laughs> games. Um, I'm sorry, if I go to a car showcase, they don't show me, like, the door panel, right? Or a, like, con or a concept see, sketch. Yeah, yeah, no, I actually get to see the fucking car. Or it's not so. it's not some video on a big 4K screen <laughs> of the oh, car. Oh, wow, that looks like it'll be cool. No, no, like, no. They actually have the prototype there a lot of the time. Yeah, and I don't so, know. I don't know. Microsoft, in my personal opinion, you guys need a new marketing team for Xbox. Well, you need a, you need to convince they need, us. They've already lost. Here's the problem: is they, they lost this last generation to the PS4 for the same things that they're doing now. They didn't have the games, and so instead of reassuring consumers that they have the games, what do they do? They show us a bunch of pre-rendered tat. Yeah. And tell us to buy it on good faith. No, we don't have good faith anymore. Uh, just in general. I mean, just as a society, mean, good faith is kind of gone. I'm going to do it. And so it's... It. No, we'll see what it goes. Um, but just in quick summation, Halo Infinite looked meh, which for a Halo game is disappointing. It looked... I, yeah, um, it, I like the energy behind the developers. It's good to see some new talent blasted. get a spotlight. This whole thing was and um, a point that he wanted to make... Um, that we didn't get to is uh, some family friendly stuff and oh, as somebody that oh, has oh I uh, put that in my notes yeah, yeah yeah but with the kiddos here there's actually a ton of stuff in like in in the in here that looks really family friendly so um, I'm actually gonna keep an eye out on some of that and we're actually gonna play some of it on our Twitch channel because I have the kiddos and I think that they would love some of this so yeah I totally so, spaced on that I told thank you for reminding yeah, me yeah and then uh, obviously the couple games that stood out to us medium and uh, stalker mm -hmm. and then uh, that look impressive at least the mm -hmm. trailers do i'm i have hopes and that I have hopes. That, that one three that with the zombie deer um oh state of decay yeah i've, I've never been into state of decay uh, I, I, dude, I, it I, just it looked good that cut you want to play a zombie good. game no yeah yeah <laughs> all right so anyway so those are our thoughts comment down below let us know what you guys think and don't forget to ring that notification bell and subscribe to the channel for more conversations like this and stay tuned to the end and maybe you'll see a video that suits your fancy and you can click on that and keep watching so until next time thank you guys so much and cheers cheers guys thank you for watching a drink with crazy if you liked the conversation make sure to click here to see more